Hello Earth Signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, welcome sa Star Tarot. I hope you are doing well. Ito po ang inyong reading for September 8. And uh, this is for the collective as always. So, hindi ito mag-resonate with everyone. So, just take what resonates. Lumili pa lang inyong mga cards. Oh my God, your energies are very chatty. So, uh, maraming salamat din po sa mga nag-subscribe na sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. And if you are new here, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga readings. Thank you. So, let's call in your angels and your spirit guides para i-assist tayo throughout this reading. Thank you. So, tignan natin kung ano yung mga uh, mensahe para sa inyo. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus for September 8th. Una ninyong card is two of summer, so love is in the air, romance is in the air. So, I feel dito, you know, uh, there is someone na magpapakilig sa inyo. If you are single and if you are uh, open to, you know, uh, accepting new mandiligaw or if you are ready to get into a relationship, uh, now is the time na maaari makakilala ka ng potential na magiging Uh, mandiligo mo. And I feel na ito yung tao magpapakilig din sa iyo, you know. This person also could uh, ask you out kasi interesado to sa iyo uh, romantically. Balak nito na, you know, get to know you better. Um, parang ano to, mabilis. <laughs> mabilis to. Uh, umakto. Ayaw niya nang nag-waste ng oras. So, Maybe this person will ask you out and mag-ask na din talaga siya ng iyong telephone number, ng iyong mga social media accounts, you know, kung meron ka para makakapag-usap kayo through messenger or through DM or kung ano pa man dyan. So, ayan. So, eto na yung posibleng taong magpapakilig sa'yo, magpapangiti sa'yo uli uh, once again. And I feel, you know, ang iba sa inyo na... Uh, kung nasa established relationship na kayo kung kung may kung meron na kayong asawa or meron na kayong jowa um boyfriend or girlfriend na if you are having a rocky rocky state uh, sa iyong relasyon ngayon i feel that now is the time na parang mag-uusap kayo yung parang aayusin niyo na kung ano yung yung inyong gusot you will try to to talk, you know, you will try to to listen to each other kung ano yung gusto mong uh, sabihin sa iyong partners or sa iyong person. So, we have the Ace of Spring. So, there is a new beginning coming in here. Maaring, you know, this is definitely a new relationship. I feel that ang iba sa inyo really is going to enter a new relationship here or magkakaayos na kayo ng iyong person and you know, you're going to start again. Yung magsisimula uli kayo ng magre-reset kayo, kumbaga, you're going to reset the buttons ng iyong relationship. So, you're going to start a happier, uh, more harmonious, you know, and peaceful uh, relationship dito. And I feel also that this could be a trabaho. This could be a job offer. You know, there could be a job opportunity here na maaring i-offer sa inyo um earth signs so be on the lookout for that hey so we also have the eight of autumn so definitely a new beginning is coming in because i feel that some of you you know are leaving your regular job because uh, gusto mong maglipat ng opisina gusto mong maglipat ng kumpanyang pinagtatrabahuan gusto mong maglipat ng karera or ang iba sa inyo is, is gusto lang talagang you know mag shift ng, ng uh, trabaho gusto nyong mabago ang iyong environment, maybe ang iba sa inyo is, you know, is looking for a different scenery looking for more challenge sa trabaho or looking for for career advancement so that's why you are thinking to to change, you know, to bring change to your career or job, so there is a new beginning here because, you know, meron kang iiwanan, meron kang isasarang pinto And you're paving the way for a new beginning, for a new door na na iyong papasukan. So, that's that's exciting for earth signs. 
so we also have number two renewal so number two we have master number 22 dito because we have two when we have two here so earth signs please look up for the meaning of number 22 that is the master number 22 because uh, meron dyan na importanteng mensahe para sa inyo na maaaring makatulong sa inyo sa araw na ito so renewal you are getting that clarity you know sa inyong uh, life existence sa inyong life purpose I feel ang iba sa inyo you know is digging deep uh, sa inyong sarili meron kayong hinahanap meron kayong um, tinatry na diskubrihin sa inyong sarili meron kang mga katanungan sa iyong sarili na, na hinahanapan mo ng sagot from deep within you you know ano nga ba talaga ang gusto ko what is my heart desires what is my life purpose why am i doing what i'm doing right now de ba bakit nandito pa rin ako sa trabahong ito uh, bakit ko ginagawa ang ang trabahong ito and bakit ako, you know, nandito sa mundong ito? What is my mission? What is my life purpose? So, ang iba sa inyo, you know, yun ang mga gumugulo sa isipan ninyo. Because maybe happy naman kayo sa inyong ginagawa. Because nasanay na kayo dyan, matagal na kayo dyan nagtatrabaho. But you know, the emotional fulfillment, wala kayo noon. Yung parang masaya lang kayo because meron kayong trabaho. Masaya lang kayo because malaki ang kinikita ninyo dyan, nakaibigan nyo na yung, yung mga colleagues. But you know, the emotional fulfillment, hindi nyo maramdaman. Yung parang meron kulang. Kaya ngayon, you know, ang nag-iisip kayo, you are thinking deeply kung, kung ano ang kulang. Kung, kung anong dapat ninyong gawin, saan na kayo patungo, anong dapat ninyong gawin na lang na trabaho, sa ano yung pipiliin ninyong path. And I feel that, you know, those questions are the questions na ginahanapan ninyo ng kasagutan. And, you know, you may need to do some kind of introspection, uh, contemplation, magnilay-nilay, because you don't need to find the answers outside of yourself because you can't find the answers outside of yourself go deep within tap into your um intuition tap into your heart and listen to your heart um yeah quiet your mind because when you quiet your mind you are allowing your soul to speak and doon yung yung soul ninyo alam kung anong para sa inyo, kung ano ang dapat ninyong gawin, kung saan kayo patungo. And you will get the answers that you seek from deep within you, you know. So, maaring yung uh, itong pag-iisip pag ninyong maglipat ng trabaho, mag-iba ng karera, you know, that is also a divine guidance. Because maaring yung job opportunity dito is the one, you know, na dapat ninyong puntahan. Maybe yung opportunity na ito is yung yun ang kasagutan para sa inyong uh, katanungan na what is my life purpose what is my mission sa buhay ba because maybe this opportunity will allow you you know to express yourself to express um your passion you know uh the things that you love maybe yung opportunity na ito that is coming in is the opportunity that is going to allow you to uh, find the fulfillment that you are looking for so be on the lookout for that okay so earth signs what else we have the six of autumn so help is coming in kung meron kang uh, kung itong um, sitwasyon na ito for you maybe is is uh, causing you stress or maybe it's causing you confusion uh maybe yung naguguluhan ng iyong isipan you know maari you are lacking in focus already don't worry because you are divinely guided i'm really feeling that you are divinely guided all of this na nangyayari sa your earth signs is divinely orchestrated timing yan that is in god's timing kaya nangyayari ang mga nangyayari naiisipan mo yung mga naiisipan mo because you know god your spirit team is putting those things sa isip mo para yun ang ang gawin mo para yun ang maisipan mo ngayon yun ang bigyan mo ng focus that is that is divinely orchestrated and someone is coming in you know to help you out is help you out na 
makakapagbigay sa iyo ng emotional support, ng moral support, ng makakapagbigay sa iyo ng sage advice, you know, that will help you give some kind of clarity para makatulong kahit papaano, di ba? Sa makapagbigay ng ideya sa iyo, makapagbigay sa iyo ng encouragement or enlightenment. So, ayan, be on the lookout for that. And if you are also needing some kind of Uh, financial help, I feel na meron din tao na tutulong sa'yo because um, maaring uh, minamanifest mo to. Maaring nagmamanifest ka ng prosperity, maaring nagmamanifest ka ng, ng pera or financial opportunity. It's coming in, earth signs. It's coming in. Someone, you know, might, might come in and, you know, tutulong sa'yo, sa iyong pangangailangan. And this could also be a windfall. I feel that there is some kind of a windfall coming in for you uh, na maaaring magbigay sa iyo ng, ng lump sum of money, you know? You might receive a lump sum of money ngayon if you are needing a money, if you are manifesting that money and prosperity. Uh, yung lump sum of money na yan na maaari mong matanggap ngayon is you know, will allow you to even save money for the rainy days, will allow for you to even uh, invest uh, the money, or that will allow you to pay off your debts as well. So this is such a beautiful blessing coming in for you. Um, use this energy, you know, para ma-attract mo yung prosperity na yan uh, sa buhay mo, earth sign. So we have the 10 of spring. So, there is definitely ending because 10 represents endings and beginnings. So, you are definitely closing some doors sa buhay mo. And if this message resonates with you, you know, you know kung aling area ng buhay mo yung magsasara, yung merong pagbabagong mangyayari. So, dito sa time of spring, I feel that, you know, you are definitely closing some doors sa career-wise. Uh, trabaho wise you know I feel that some of you is definitely leaving your regular job para mag-aral or maybe uh, may nakuha ka ng ibang trabaho or maybe you're going for a training or maybe you know you are migrating to to some place diba? so I feel that yon ang mga iba-ibang sitwasyon na maaaring maganap sa, sa iba sa inyo, you know, because iba-iba tayo ng sitwasyon those are the energies that I'm picking up so that's different situations for each and every one of us so we worked hard for for that, so I feel that, you know, tutulungan ka dito ng Panginoon, you will get what you deserve dito, you will get uh, kung ano yung yung pinagpipray mo because maybe you are manifesting that change sa buhay mo. So, and I feel ang iba naman sa inyo, you know, is really having that financial struggles. Merong uh, financial constraints na nararanasan ng ang iba sa inyo. But with the six of autumn, you know, uh, merong tulong na napapasok sa inyo. Maaring merong tulong kang matanggap financially dito, financial support or maybe financial gift, you know, merong magbibigay sa iyo ng isang malaking amount ng pera and that is going to end your your struggles, your financial uh, constraints that is going to end your financial situation na mabigat mong dinadala. So that is beautiful. There is ah uh, this is full of blessing, you know, uh, ang inyong araw. So earth signs that's all I have for you for today. I hope nakatulong ang reading nito in some way. Thank you for watching. Love and light. Namaste.